connected. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. Today I'm uh, just out for a ride. It's actually it's almost 70 degrees. It's ridiculous. This is January 20th, 2017, and I mean to be this nice in January is fabulous. So I'm just gonna go for a ride. I probably run to town and wash the Jeep off, and uh, it's just too nice to be sitting around ho the house when it's this warm. So if it's nice at your place, get out and enjoy it. And, you know, don't sit at home on the couch. Turn that computer off and turn off them iPhones and get out and enjoy this weather. Because uh, of course where you're at, it may be really bad. Probably in Alaska or somewhere. It's got to be horrible. Maybe hot in Namibia. Where Ian's at. But, uh... i tell you. It's really nice. If it keeps uh, getting weather like this, the flowers and the grass are going to go start growing. They're going to think it's spring or something. I think tomorrow I might go for a drive and enjoy the day beautiful if it just had some little green on I like the green on I like the trees being green and the grass being green not into this winter look it's pretty cool if you're out in the woods because you can sure see uh, through the trees and the brush in the winter so now's the time to get things cleaned up if you're cleaning that brush or something because it's a whole lot better when the leaves are gone. The wind is blowing like crazy today. That's usually what happens this time of year when, we, when it warms up. The wind really blows. But I can live with the wind if it's warm. It don't bother me so bad. But them cows are enjoying this weather. I don't have my uh, TRX-7 on here today. I uh, took it off because I got a mount. I was set, making it where I could put it in the Jeep. And I got a mount just like this. I'll show you later where I can take the TRX-7 off here. And uh, just the same kind of mount. It's just a cradle mount. So I can t take it and put it right in the Jeep. and. I don't want to have to take this mount off here the way I got it bolted on, so that makes it real handy. I went outside this morning because it said there's going to be a uh, real dense fog and drizzling rain and uh, so I anticipated I was going to ride the, or drive the uh, truck to work and when I walked outside this morning it was like clear as a bell there was no fog anywhere and 45 degrees so I thought the heck with that I went back in the house and got my helmet and my riding jacket and rode the bike to work it's been nice this thing's been sitting for a week probably since I rode it last which is rare for me. I don't mind the cold so bad. I don't like the uh, rain. I don't, some idiot throwed out the trash there. Um, I don't like the rain and the, the cold when it's cold and raining. And, uh, definitely don't want the ice to ride on the lab. So. But man, today there's no way I can pass up a ride. So. Who knows what's coming. It's going to cool back down. It ain't going to stay this way. Don't you just hate that? You don't have the traction control off. And when you try to do something like wheelie a little bit, that thing, the traction control kicks in. It would be nice if you turn it on or off like that and it would stay off. But it must be a safety feature, I would say, is why they've done it. 
to keep uh, somebody from getting hurt and they get to say that well the traction control was supposed to be on but it don't you know somebody would uh, argue it so I imagine that's why they do it you just need to remember if you ride like I do a lot of times I'm gonna leave the contraction control off so I uh, need to turn it off every time when I get on the bike as far as the ABS braking I don't care about that I've not had a problem with the brakes maybe yes I've never even I may have used that one time just to try it out but I just don't use the ABS I, I mean I don't turn it off in other words I don't uh, I leave it on all the time it's fine see some green out in that field so anyway in uh, May May 25th I'm going to uh, with Dale we're going to go to a uh, Africa twin rally um, in Iowa it's uh it's gonna be pretty cool it's uh may 25th so we're gonna ride the bikes up there he's in oklahoma city so he's gonna come by and we'll ride on up there that'd be cool so anybody who wants to join us climb aboard i mean they don't even have to be an africa twin there's other bikes going too besides africa twins it's just primary primarily an africa twin rally i guess I've never actually been to one. I've been to a few things. I've been to uh, Little Sturgis, Mississippi before. Hated it. Uh, I hated it riding down there because the weather was so miserable. That was the muggiest, worthless ride I've ever been on in my life. I've enjoyed a lot of rides, but that one there was absolutely crazy. We burn up all, most of the way down there. We burn up all the way back. We burned up the whole time we was down there, and just in misery. And then uh, I've been to a few other things, not nothing really worth mentioning. Never been to Big Sur. Just never really cared to go. It's just not my thing. Uh, I'm not uh, into the biker scene. I'm, I know there are other bikes there besides Harley's and stuff, but. It's just not my thing. I'd rather go to a good motocross or supercross race than to go to something like Sturgis myself. I'd rather go down uh, riding through the mountains in Colorado or go someplace like that. That's uh, that's my dream. Is to go on some big rides like that with the wife. I really enjoy my wife riding with me. We we uh, got the Senna headset, so we talk back and forth. We have we really have a good time, and um, it's just she's real good company because she enjoys it as much as I do. Actually, there's a lot of times, boy, as soon as she gets off work, she's like, "Let's go ride. You want to go ride? Let's go take the bike and go for a ride." <laughs> so, uh, so we go ride as long as it's nice enough that it's comfortable for two people and going riding it ain't much fun when you're freezing the whole time hopefully the wind noise ain't driving you guys too crazy but it is terribly windy today but anyway I had to get on here and make a video because it's been a week and I just haven't been on the bike to make a video I haven't uh, been enjoying outside or nothing I mean so hopefully we'll get some videos made. Uh, make some more videos on the Jeep. I got a, uh, I'm ordering a, uh, a light bar, 52 inch LED bar to go across the top of the windshield. And then I got the brackets that come up the pillars and uh, to put them on. So I want to do a video on that. And uh, try to do videos on everything. I do the mods on the Jeep too and put them on here. What the world's all these vehicles down here? Coming in the back way to Cassville, and that's Walmart over there. Actually, right there. That's the old Walmart. That's the new Walmart, Super Center. I don't know what 
what they're doing out here. Maybe they're fishing. Don't you doubt it. Might be somebody broke down. Yep, it's somebody broke down. And that's exactly what it is. Well, I sure thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Click the thumbs up on the video. Lots more to come. Warmer this weather gets, some more videos I'll be back to making. So click the thumbs up. Click subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Get out and ride. Catch you in the next video.